the man coming to the stage right now in the last one year has virtually just broken many records in the Nigerian music scene. Just came out of uh, seemingly nowhere and his album has been topping the charts. And the remarkable thing is he did everything or he did most things in Yoruba language. I have a friend who doesn't even speak Yoruba who absolutely worships and adores this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, the album is still in the stores. You can get your own copy. Please welcome on the stage, the one, the only wave making, Da Green! noise like that for me. What has he sung? <laughs> bom, 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 bom. What, what is a pom-pom? <clears throat> like, like, you know, um, 
Um, a car used to sound like ping, 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 but for the train it goes pom, pom, pom. And when you hear that sound, no matter how far you are from the, um, from the train, um, from the railway, you know, you go first leave waiting they do. So pom, pom, pom is like, it's like a song that is dedicated to people that can speak for the street, you know, people that have got the street credibility. Yeah, no. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you're just joining us, I still have Doug Green and DJ Z's in the house. You guys, you're still, you're still cool? Yeah, It's remarkable to me how you're not sweating. You, you just finished all that performance and you're still cool. I, 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 I sweat. This is what I do. Some people, some people sing songs, some people rap, some people, some people fly planes. Tell your baby face sweats. This is what I do. <laughs> it's remarkable. Yeah. You know, but, but it's good. But yeah. I, I, I like the song, Pop Pop, but what I would have liked you to actually do was, uh, you know, what's Kondo, that song? Kondo. Enough, enough. Now that's why I didn't do it, you know. I, I, I fear that, you know, I, I love the song. Okay. I think it's a good song, uh, lyrically. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, the, the musical arrangement, I, I may not agree with all parts of the message. Okay. But it's a good song. Thank you. And I'd much. like you to do that. But uh, there seems to be something about uh, some regulatory board that once you just say something, they can just ban the song. But, but don't, don't get it twisted. Kondo means condition. You know what you're about? Oh, 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 you know what I'm saying? And the commando is like, Wagba, Kondo, Wagba, Commando, you know. Commando is an old film. So if you invite, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you invite your, if you invite your loved one, your chick, whatever, to come to your house, and you play, you still have the commando film in your house, and you play the film, you know, the person will feel like, say, he or she did for cinema. You know what I'm saying? So. Okay, wait. <laughs> All right, good man. You can tell yourself whatever you want. <laughs> if it helps you sleep better at night. We all know what a condo onokpa is. Especially in that song. There was a condo to be collected. That is condition or not. But DJ C, how you doing, man? Yes, boss. I'm all right. Uh, no, do you, no. Anybody here knows what uh, label uh, Da Green is signed on? Would you believe that Da Green is actually signed on DJ C's label? DJ C is his president. Remarkable. That <laughs> that's, that's the president right. of the label. So in short, your, your 50 cent, and that is your Dr. M&M Dre. Dr. Dre. That's yeah. Dr. Dre right there. That's what's up. That's what's up. DJ, what's that's the label called? It's headline. called Headline Records. Headline. Yeah, Headline. E-D-L-Y-N-E. -E. Headline Records. Headline Records. All right, Headline Records. And, and you're, you're, you're a pretty young artist yourself. I mean, don't you need to be like many years in the industry before you sign somebody else on? Well, um, Headline Records is not a label that is um, being run by just DJ Z's alone. Okay, just like you have a lot of companies and firms out there that have been um, put together by a couple of people. Sorry, please, what's your real name? Kingsley Elipo. Sorry, it's okay. Kingsley Elipo. I'm my boy, the ball is on you. How do you understand you? How do you see boys? Well, uh, I've lived all my life in Lagos. What do you expect now? Okay, so I continue with your whole uh, record. By the time all those thing. Lagos conductors chance you once or twice, you go ah, start speaking about my boss. <laughs> All right, continue with your record. Yeah, so record. Headline Records is not um, just DJ Z's, okay? Yeah. It's um, like a, a, a collective effort of a couple of people together, which right. I'm kind of part of. It's just that I happen to be the one that is um, coming up on the screen, on the okay. papers and stuff like that. That's right. why you don't know the rest. Uh, now, uh, Dagreed, your, your own lounge. <laughs> your, your lounge and it's all good. Now, uh, the, the question is, um, how basically has it been for you, the, the record? Has it done very well? Because yeah. artists sometimes say that uh, I'm popular, I'm popular, but I'm not seeing the money. Paris do one thing, Paris do one thing. In fact, how much does it take from the sales? What percent is it? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you look now? When the money comes in, when the money comes in, how much percentage is the company before you get anything? I'm okay with the percentage. The only, uh, uh, what is the, okay, say how much does a CD sell for? We're just doing like a family thing. We take 50-50. 50-50? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's family, really man. Yeah, we're family. Your family. So let me get this 50-50. So you think of the song, you write the song. They pay for the sessions. You sing the song. They pay for the sessions. They pay for the session. Yeah. And then if it comes a hit, you see it 50-50. So yeah. let me say this again. <laughs> you write. 
Yeah. You sing. You compose. Yeah. Three. They pay. Mm -hmm. At three one. How is it fifty fifty? <laughs> Maybe I'll have to come in there. Yeah. Uh, Headline Records is a complete record label that has got um, an artist and relations section yeah. that is being handled by the management. Okay? Uh, you need to understand that there are a whole lot of good songs and um, talented boys on the streets still wasting out there. Obviously, they wrote their song. They paid for the studio section. They tried as much as possible to maybe put it on air, one or two radio stations, yeah. but they are not out there. People don't know them. Oh, so because of lack of good management. You're doing a lot. Yeah. Yeah, That's so the good. management um, in collaboration with his good music and talent is what is bringing about everything. So, uh, very good. Uh, so, M.I., uh, who is uh, Stola? Sorry. I'm not M.I. The Green, who is Stola? You or M.I.? That's what I was going to say. Oh, I think I'm taller than M.I. You are taller than M.I. I'm taller than M.I. <laughs> you are taller than M.I.? Yeah, How tall are you? Who said so? Uh, how, how tall are you? 650. 650? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say 650, I said 650. You are 6 feet? Yeah. Ah. Kilo mu. <laughs> what did you drink? Gary. Gary, that's what I got you. I even 6. All right. Just because I want to know. Uh, all right, sis. Uh, yeah. This is your second time on this show. Yeah. And uh, can we expect uh, uh, new, new things from you very soon? Yeah, very soon. Very, very soon. Anything going to be bigger than the last one, that last thing you did? Well, yeah. like. Um, what myself and Green would say, 2009 was nice, but 2010, more in effect, uh, we're coming up with something good. <laughs> For an Igbo boy who speaks Yoruba like this, say that same thing you just said now in Igbo. <laughs> say Igbo, you're an Igbo boy, I said Igbo. Ah. 2009 was nice, 2010 more in effect. But you need to understand that nice is not a Yoruba word. The what? Nice. When I said, said 2009 was nice. Yeah. Neither is two faces in Yoruba word. But say it. Say it that way. Uh, oh, bro, 2009, nice. Uh, what are 2010? Uh, say it in Igbo. Use nice. Like, let me okay, 2009. Dequa okay. nice. 2010. Dequa <laughs> 10. Help me out now. <laughs> 2010, Dequa 10. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> All right, you guys, uh, thank you so much for coming. But before you go, uh, this is the question everybody asks you, but I don't, I don't want the general answer okay. and all that. Uh, you've been there for a while uh, as the bigger boy here. Uh, the girls, yeah. uh, did, they, did you notice a change? A change from when you were just uh, what you would call, not a nobody, but when you were just your normal self and now you're that green. Girls who wouldn't date you because maybe they thought you were too short, maybe they thought you were too black. <laughs> maybe because, do you see the same girls? Has it changed radically? <clears throat> Everything has changed totally. Everything has changed. Trust me. Yeah, you know, more female fans and everything. And you know, most female fans they get strong, get man. You know, the, the they, they, they get strong, get. They're know, not they, your god. They know your god. They know. They know your god. Agree. You just have to give what it takes, man. That's what's up. Oh, sorry, you have to give what it takes. Yeah, that's what's ah, up. Man. Well, uh, female fans, the green will still be here giving what it takes. <laughs> Anytime you want to come, you want to come and take what it takes, all right? So, so it's been very good. Uh, DJ Z, I'll yeah. have you back on the program uh, again and uh, I, I want to talk about the whole record label thing and how well you've done that because I really want to go into that. All right. And I still owe you a suit. Yeah, you do. Boss. I still owe you a you suit. And that, that green, I like the way you're around the furniture. You like the furniture, you like it. Yeah, it's cool. You wanted it. Yep. It goes with your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't I wear the material? I mean, I eat so shit too. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming. It's the Tejibay Face Show. We'll see you again. Everyday hustling, bustling. 